These are the interviews from Chat City on Preston FM. Don't forget, our show is live weekdays from 10 till noon. Tune in and become part of our family. And right now, my last guest in the studio, it's lovely as ever to welcome Gillian Ashcroft. And Gillian is Discover Preston Learning and Access Officer at uh, the Harris Museum. You don't have one of those plaques on your desk, do you, Gillian, with all that written across it? No, I don't. It's a bit too long, I think, for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could just see you sat behind the desk, something like Monty Python with that written across. <laughs> Discover Preston Learning and Access Officer. It is a very long title. I do have a badge with it on, though. It is that to, right? It had to be made a bit bigger for my, my title to fit on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you again. And... Uh, Heading towards spring and summer, nice time of year. Easter, of course, first of all. And I would imagine there's lots of things taking place as ever at the uh, Harris Museum. That's right. Yes, there is. We have a lot of activities coming up over the next two weeks for the Easter holidays. Um, We have lots of different family activities happening, but also activities for young people as well. And uh, some of them that you can mention to us? Oh, yes, we've got an awful lot I can mention. Um, Over the next coming week, we have three workshops for families. Uh, They are Hands On, Hats Off to the Harris, Wonderful Wednesdays and Time Explorers Park Life, which will be happening Tuesday through to Thursday. We then have um, an event on Saturday the 12th, which is Hands On History, and we'll be looking at the Preston Lamb. And then the week after, we have uh, workshops Tuesday through to Thursday again, which is hands-on history, exciting eggs, which will be looking at the egg rolling that happens on an Easter Monday, and you'll get to make your own Easter egg. Um, And a special event called Tell It With Your Hands, which is linked to our Bruce Nauman exhibition. And then an Arty Explorers, which will be looking at the animal safari based on the animals within the arts collections. Right, so certainly a lot of hands-on. Oh, there. very much, now, hands-on now, activities. That's right, well, the ha- hands-on with the eggs, mm-hmm. self-explanatory to somebody like me. What about some of the others? What about the hands, was it the hands-on with the hats? What's that ah, one about? Hats off to the Harris. Well, here we'll be looking at um, different hats within the paintings that we have in our art galleries um, and there will be a trail round to look at all the different hats and then you get to make your own hat based on one of the paintings um, a little bit of a nod towards Easter bonnets but not always bonnets because of course we want boys to be involved as well right that's quite interesting of course there are lots of paintings around I would imagine with ladies with the uh, very kind of exquisite hats to be able to look at. Indeed, yes. And there are also quite a lot of paintings with gentlemen in hats as well, very tall hats, lots of smoking caps. So lots of inspiration there. Right. And then some of the other things that you mentioned there are... Well, we've got Park Life, which will be a time explorers. And what will that one be about? And that one will be looking at how the parks in Preston uh, have changed the life of of the people of Preston, so how they were developed, uh, Avon and Miller especially, um, and how they're now used. Wow, that that should be very interesting, uh, especially given that uh, during the last year, uh, the park, Avon and Park, had over one million visitors. Oh, yeah. Hard to believe one million visitors, because whenever you go to the park, it's such a beautiful park, you can still feel you're on your own, which is a nice, uh, a nice feeling down yes. there. So that's taking place when? That one is on Thursday the 10th of April, yes. <laughs> and some of the other ones there that you mentioned? So I've, I'll just go through the list again. Okay. On Tuesday the 8th, we have Hands On, Hats Off to the Harris. Wednesday the 9th, we have Wonderful Wednesdays, in which we pick lots of different activities to take place throughout the building. And on Thursday the 10th, we have Time Explorers Park Life. On Saturday the 12th, we have Hands On History, the Preston Lamb, which we'll be looking at the history of the Preston Lamb and how it came about. On Tuesday the 15th, we'll have Hands hands On History, uh, the Exciting Eggs. Wednesday the 16th is Tell It With Your Hands, which is a special event linked to the Bruce Nauman exhibition. Ah, that's the one I was going to ask and about. one more before we talk about that one is on Thursday the 17th, we have Arty Explorers Animal Safari. Okay, so those last two, the, the, the first one you mentioned there, tell us a little more about that one. Well, the Bruce Nauman exhibition has been running for a little while now, and 
there are a lot of artworks in it based on hands so tell it with your hands is a special event it's free but you have to book onto it because it has limited places and it's quite hard to explain without using my hands which doesn't really work (laughs) on radio but basically um it's making artwork within a team using your hands um the best example i can give is in the film labyrinth there's a, a scene with hands talk to the character and it's doing something similar to that ah right and so, that last one and then yes arty explorers will be, do, will be going on an animal safari around the building finding different animals in artwork and ceramics wow so i, I mean the, the nice thing about this also is it it's Apart from an activity and an interest, it's actually a lovely way of introducing people to the artwork within the library, isn't it? Oh, yes, definitely. We try and link all of our workshops and and, uh, activities to the uh, exhibits and the artwork that we have in the museum and the art galleries. And we always try and introduce people in a fun way. And and particularly for children who maybe uh, come into the, the museum and go right away to the more interactive things from a young age what a lovely way of introducing them to art yes definitely we always try and make sure that children have a a way of looking at the art without it just being a boring picture on the wall so a busy busy time then over easter oh very busy um and we'll kick it off actually this saturday on the 5th from 1 till 2.30, we have a special event happening for Bruce Nauman. It's the Bruce Nauman's Project Showcase, and we'd like people to join us as we celebrate the completion of three creative projects which have been developed by young people. And that's happening this Saturday? This Saturday at 1pm. At 1pm. Uh, I know I always say this, but uh, of all the places I've kind of lived when it comes to museums, I think the one in Preston is the most interactive and the most... Uh, museum that appears to be community committed Um, indeed I think the Harris has uh, a a great community um, aspect to it and we always try and engage our audience as, as do the other museums in Preston Lovely. Well, I'm sure it'll be a very busy uh, Easter weekend for you, so I'm I'm taking it that you won't get very much time off of, over the Easter <laughs> I don't break. I think so. <laughs> who, who? I mean, just out of interest, how how do you come up with the various ideas? Do you all sit round and think, well, you know, what are we going to do? Is it very difficult to come up with ideas constantly of uh, events and features of the museum life? To be honest, it's not that difficult because we do have an awful lot of different exhibits and art pieces that we can draw from. And um, myself and the education officer spend a lot of time looking at what we have and how we can Um, make that more interactive and especially with our temporary exhibitions coming through that gives us a lot of inspiration and it it then must be lovely when you see the response of people and you see the number of people who come through the doors during that period to participate oh it is it's always lovely to see lots of people filling the museum it's quite interesting actually because we have had complaints about the noise but we'd rather it be a noisy place with lots of people interacting than it to be very quiet i'm sure and uh Museum opening hours? Um, It's 10 till 5 on most days, apart from Mondays when it's 11 till 5. But the building itself is open slightly longer on Wednesdays and Fridays. Brilliant. Gillian, pleasure as always. I'm sure, hopefully, meeting you in the not-too-distant future here on Chat City. And thanks for coming in this morning. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you for having me. If you've got news, views or events you'd like to share with us and the Chat City team, why not give us an email? Chatcity at preston.fm.